at least we are getting something like modification type of thing with the GSI ROM which is not available with the official uh, Evolution X ROM. Good day everyone. So today I got Galaxy A51 and I have tried installing my first GSI ROM on this mobile phone and I am succeeded. So I got Evolution X GSI with slim gaps and this is Android 15 Evolution X the latest version Evolution X version 10.3 having 5th FAP 2025 invite security update and the build maintainer name. So the ROM is good fast uh, comparing it with the stock firmware Galaxy A51 is a old mobile phone still the uh, this mobile phone handling the AOSP ROM quite well. So control center or notification center both at same site and uh, we can edit the control center the widgets if we want we can remove we can uh, add if flashlight is working evolution x always comes with the modifications like evolving like never before if you tap here you can uh, modify the rom the way you like so this is so the place where we can modify the rom like as i said the way we like one more thing provided and this is uh, PHH travel settings. If I tap over here, I can see many things over here. If I tap my device, you can read the maintainer of your Samsung Galaxy A51 is there is a name. And if I go back, those features, I can see that uh, enable uh, hand wave gesture, enable out of pocket gesture, and uh, here is one more section that we can modify and there are many options available provided by the developer on this ROM. A lot of things, a lot of things. And if I go back and this one, as you can see that these are the things that I will definitely say if you know about these features, you can play with it but if you don't know about these features then i will advise do not touch it sometime like uh, no idea and if we still we do something the rom behavior always get changed fingerprint scanner is not provided and not working but the face unlocking is working perfectly well definitely you will see good battery life and good speed after flashing the ROM on your Galaxy A51. I flash the uh, other variant Evolution X GSI ROM on my Galaxy A73 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Uh, Note 20 Ultra got boot but Galaxy A73 did not. Then I tried to flash this GSI on Redmi Note 11 but it got flash but after like when I tap reboot mobile straight T goes to the fast boot like uh, the rom is not getting boot on redmi note 11 camera application aosp camera provided and this mobile phone is recording video with sound camera working perfectly the rear camera and the front camera video with sound. so those who have galaxy a51 they can flash the rom because i have flash and this is what the result is and those who have another phone they want to try they can do the flashing gsi rom by their own responsibility because the rom may get boot or may get not so watch the further video how to flash the gsi rom on this mobile phone and uh, obviously the mobile phone bootloader must be unlocked to get the any customized rom if your mobile phone bootloader is not unlocked you need to unlock the bootloader first then try to flash it and this mobile phone is galaxy a51 4g variant you need to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged save all the internal storage data otherwise the data will get formatted your mobile phone is supposed to be updated to the latest stock firmware once in case if it is updated once to the latest stock firmware and in case if you are having any custom rom doesn't matter you need to turn off the lock screen by selecting the swipe in case if you have one ui 
and if you have login samsung account then sync your samsung account once must remove it to avoid issues with the customer recovery same way sync your gmail account and remove it to avoid issues later on finally you can power off the mobile phone Here are the files that I have downloaded already in my downloaded folder. Links are provided in my video description. Just make a new folder and download these files. We need VB Meta, uh, particularly for Galaxy A51. The TWRP, this one, this recovery file is for the Galaxy A51 4G. Platform tools, Odin, and this is the Evolution X stable ROM. First of all, extract the evolution the gsi rom you can see the extension is img.xz so extract it must in same folder after extracting you will see extracted folder if you double click to open the folder you will find the system image file inside the folder i will go back and now extract the odin also in same folder then extract the platform tools in same folder right now open the odin extracted folder double click the odin to open it click ok on this pop-up window and on odin click ap go to your downloaded folder and select the twrp recovery file by double clicking on it then click cp or any other slot again go to the downloaded folder and click double click the vbmeta.tar to select the file we have to boot the mobile phone into odin mode for that the data cable service is required check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer in some case if your laptop is having usb 3.1 maybe the data will get corrupted uh, during transferring so if you have usb 2.0 i will advise to use usb 2.0 port now mobile phone is supposed to be power off we have to boot the mobile phone into odin mode Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, connect the cable with the mobile phone. You will see a warning screen, release both keys. And on this screen, those who does not have a lock bootloader, you can see that volume up, a long press for the device unlock mode. You can press and hold the volume up key, the other screen will get appears. From there, you can unlock the bootloader. My mobile phone currently having an unlock bootloader. So I will press the volume up key once to boot the phone into Odin mode. The Odin screen is supposed to be like this. The FRP lock must show off. The OEM lock must show off in the brackets U, which means that bootloader is already unlocked. The phone is connected with the computer and the phone is booted into Odin mode. Coming back towards the computer screen, Odin already detected my mobile phone because I have installed the Samsung Android USB drivers already on my windows. On the Odin, go to the options, untick the auto reboot, go back to lock and click start. So the recovery will start it flashing. When you see pass message means that done. Exit the Odin, go back to the downloaded folder. Now it is time to boot the phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode because I have unticked the auto reboot that is why the phone still booted into Odin mode now press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key when phone restart release the volume down key first okay now wait when my phone vibrates or Samsung logo appears release the power key now you can release the volume up key the phone will boot it into twrp just wait we got the recovery or i got the recovery i will go to settings to third menu i will low the brightest little bit and i will make the screen time out to maximum okay i will go back to my main folder and i can see that internal storage get appears on my computer screen if i double click the internal storage and I can see the folders name are proper like I can read the folders name which means that I can copy paste now I will go to my downloaded folder and uh, this time I will open the extracted folder of the ROM then I will copy the uh, image file 
either if you want to cut or copy i will cut the file from here then i will go back will open the extracted folder of the plate farm tools and i will paste a file in this folder now right click on cmd then left click on run as administrator click yes command window will open i have provided the commands in my video description you need to just copy the commands from the description and paste the command in command window now coming back towards the mobile phone so we have to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode yes the samsung does not have a fast boot mode but still after flashing the twrp recovery we can get that now first of all tap y then tap format data y e s type y e s here then tap here when done then go back to main screen tap reboot and tap fast boot if you can see let me show the last one fast boot right tap on it so the mobile phone will automatically restart and definitely it will uh, boot into fast boot mode this fast boot mode is actually the twrp mode they are providing for the samsung phones because usually samsung or mostly samsung phones not booting into fast boot mode as you can see that recovery appears and now this is the fast boot mode if you can read entered fast boot mode now the phone is connected with the computer i will come back to my computer screen so i have provided the commands first of first of all i will copy the fast boot delete logical partitions product a from the provided description then come to the command window and uh, press control v to paste the file so the thing will be done we'll go back to my description and i will copy the second command product b from the description then we'll come to the command window press control v okay also done now go to the extracted folder of the plate farm tool select the image file by clicking on it press f2 now copy the file name that is already highlighted copy the file name from here and then press escape come back to the command window now type the command to start flashing the file fast boot space flash space system space press press control v and then uh, dot the img press enter key the rom file will start it flashing to the mobile phone now it will take a time so we have to wait here okay flashing done from the computer side and uh, i will uh, close the command window and uh, i am done from computer coming back towards the mobile phone mobile phone still booted into fast boot mode of the twrp recovery swipe to unlock the screen then tap reboot here and tap recovery must tap recovery right and if you see that uh, press back button to cancel no os doesn't matter nobody's just swipe to reboot let the mobile phone reboot into twrp we got the recovery when you see recovery screen appears tap y then tap format data type y e s repeat the procedure tap here and when done then tap reboot system now you can disconnect the cable from the mobile phone the mobile phone will stay on samsung logo for a few seconds and it will start booting to the gsi rom the first boot will not take that much time but still we have to wait finally first boot completed now i will complete my setup screen flashing done very smoothly i got the gsi rom on my galaxy a51 i will go to settings and let me show these are the applications that coming default with the rom accord basic call recorder and google play store also provided so this is basically the slim rom slim means that 
this rom does not have that much google applications pre-installed so after logging the gmail account we can download the google applications straight away from the play store we'll go to settings and uh, you can see the interface of the settings we'll go to about device and this is what right now currently i have on my mobile phone evolution x gsi with slim gaps we'll go to android 15 evolution x android 15 evolution x version is 10.3 fab 2025 and b spend the build maintainer thank you so much for watching the video we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye